Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday afternoon. I did not babysit yesterday or today, and I had big plans to make videos, but I actually I've been in bed for two days. I'm just exhausted. It just it just feels like my body is just worn out. I hate this. I see I'll be what, seventy two this year, but still I don't think a a healthy woman in her seventies should be so exhausted all the time. I know I'm carrying around a lot of extra fat on my body. I've probably gained 20 pounds over the winter, and that probably has a lot to do with me feeling so sluggish. And I have been depressed, which I, you know, I, I accept depression in February because Jeremy's not here to celebrate his birthday, and that's just... There's nothing I can do about it. I know it's going to happen. I try my best to prepare myself for it. No matter how hard I've tried over the past 20 something years since his death, I just don't. Um, it's just inevitable. And I know many of y'all feel the same way. Many of y'all have lost loved ones, either a wife or a husband or a child or a mother or father or grandmother or grandfather that you love dearly and some people get down and depressed um, over it you know when it is their birthday or the anniversary of their death or even a holiday but just being physically exhausted and, and then mentally exhausted it it merges together and wipes me out. So I, I just gave myself some grace yesterday and today and let my body rest and I ate healthy. I ate a healthy dinner and I uh, had an apple and an avocado. So I blended that up in my blender and I put in a little dash of vanilla extract and some ice cubes and had me a nice healthy smoothie last night before bed. So I ran over to the little ideal market today and they have bananas. Uh, I like that they have them small ones. I don't like real big bananas. I like a small banana. And I like that they have them green because if you buy them already ripe in the store, then by the time you get around to eating all of them, they're too ripe. And, and then I end up making a banana nut bread out of the two ripe ones and shouldn't do that whenever I buy the bananas to have them to eat healthy. You know, if I don't eat a banana or a piece of fruit every day, then I start getting charley horses in my legs from the, the lack of potassium so I have to be very mindful and make sure I do eat a piece of fruit every day but I, I got my rent paid and my health insurance premium paid and I picked up my name brand Synthroid oh I didn't explain to y'all why I, only, I get 65 for a three month supply I know y'all are wondering, what is she doing, skipping her medicine or something? No, I'm not. About six months ago, maybe longer, when I went to the doctor for my checkup, he, when he checked my thyroid levels, the test came back that it was too high. So instead of taking me off of the 0.137 milligrams and lowering it, you know, for the every day, my doctor took a modest approach to it, which I'm thankful for. So he kept me on the 137 Monday through Friday, and then he prescribed the lower dose, 125, just on Saturdays and Sundays. So I've been taking that dosage for several months now, and um, when I went 
a few months ago for my test. The thyroid levels were normal. So I do still have to go and pick up the 125, which is going to be expensive too. But those only get maybe 35 of them, I think. So it's not going to be the $108 for them. But I was fortunate. I don't know which one of y'all, <laughs> one of my subscribers told me about the GoodRx app and the coupon. So I'm grateful for you for telling me about that and for me being able to get the $100 coupon savings on that refill. Oh, this western sun in my eyes is torture. But I'm so thankful to see the sun. We have been very, very fortunate this winter. The population in general has been very fortunate, but those who uh, supplement their income or make a living off of snow removal and salting, um, they've had it a hard hit this winter because uh, we just got a little bit of sprinkling of snowflakes a couple of weeks ago and all the salt trucks were out trying to make their extra money. I don't begrudge anyone trying to supplement their regular income with a part-time job because it's necessary in today's times. It's so difficult. So y'all, uh, please continue to pray for Catherine Yanahara, our sweet um, Hawaiian friend. Her cancer, she had her test and she, her cancer did not get cured with the chemo and radiation. She's just always so sweet and positive and upbeat and doing things and celebrating life in every way and every day. And I'm so proud of you for that. She's such a dear Christian woman. So she's going to be getting immunotherapy now. And I told her that we will be praying for her. We definitely want this immunotherapy to heal her body. So that's Catherine Yamahara. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing your name right, but y'all have seen her in comments. She comments on every video. So I just wanted to pop in here for a minute today and let y'all know that I'm I'm still struggling, but I'm I'm still trying. I guess I'll never give up fighting depression and, and trying to reclaim my mental health. It's been a struggle my entire life. But I just wanted to check in with y'all today. I just love you with all my heart and soul. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. I need to turn left, but I don't want to run into the subway station. I see the subway tracks over there. I don't usually come down this street, but I was trying to take a shortcut. But anyway, um, please give me a thumbs up and share. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And y'all just keep on coming back.